Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Verse 6, we have given the hand to the Egyptians and to the Assyrians. 
28. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Get Deuteronomy 28 and start at 48. Bring it up. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Bring it up. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemies. Now, we talk, he talking to the Israelites. Like, this is Moses. This will be you a summer, right? Moses is bringing us out of Egypt. And he's telling the Israelites about the blessings and the curses. We just read the blessings. Obviously, when you look at our people, we are not partakers of God's blessings. Lord's will, one day that can happen, but not right now. Read that. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemies. Uh -huh. Which the Lord shall send against thee what? in hunger uh -huh. and in thirst uh -huh. and in nakedness. And in hunger. When you want food, food we gotta go to as a people. We gotta go to these same people that put us in bondage. These same people that stripped us of our heritage. These same people that came and took our land. We gotta give what our money to these people for the simple necessities in life. Whether it be food, whether it be drink, whether it be clothes on our backs. Please believe, this is not going to say made in Mexico. This is not going to say made in, uh, what's her name? Omar. This is not going to say made by Omar. This is going to say made in Italy, made in France, made in Tokyo, made in China. The same people that made sure that she was destroyed as a people. 99% of what we own is made in China. That's right. So what if China came back like Runner Center and just took everything away? Then what? Then you back to My brother brought it out earlier. Then you back down to bare necessities, which needs to come back down. See, brother, see now the Lord got a question for you already. Keep reading now, but the Lord got a question for you today. Read that. And, and in what of all things? In what? In all things. In all things. I don't give us a driver's license, marriage license, death certificate, education, whatever you want, you gotta go to these same people that wanna keep you at the bottom. First, that ain't living, brother. I don't know about you, but that ain't living. Read that. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Now listen, listen to this. I'm gonna hit you with something. A lot of people think that slavery was only partook in by the so-called blacks. But did you know that in 1492, 10,000 of your people were took to Spain? 10,000 of your people was took to Spain in 1492. So who was the first slaves to go in bondage and chains? That's right. That's right, but let me tell you what's so heavy about that. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15 one more time. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. You gotta understand before you walk off. Why? Because your daughter gonna ask questions about those men that was talking earlier, right? So you gotta be able to answer these questions. So now she can tell her friends. You can tell your friends. Now before you know it, we got a mighty nation coming back together, rising up upon this planet. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. It shall come to pass. You hear that, bro? He said, but, Omar, it's going to come to pass that what? If thou were not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, that, what? that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, we are about to get into some of the curses. Read, get 33, 28, 33. Because a lot of these curses, some of them stand out more than others, meaning what? My brother and I, we might have partook in one curse more than you. But then we can read another curse where you partook in it more than us. You know what I'm saying? But as a whole, we are one nation that are under the curses of God. You see what I'm saying? You the tribe of Issachar, I might be the tribe of Judah, right? But at the end of the day, we what? Israelites. Watch this, read that. Watch this, bro. Watch this, Omar. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 33. Omar, he's one of the curses. Watch this. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't think you heard that, Omar. Read that again. The fruit of thy land. He said the fruit of thy land. Now we're not just talking strawberries and oranges. We're talking about natural resources. We're talking about everything. We're talking about everything that can make a nation thrive, that you can live off of. You won't have to get loans from the United Nations and all these different nations that come in there, uh, give you a little bit of small chunk of change and strip your land of all this resources, of all this fruit of thy land. Read. The fruit of thy land and all Thy and all thy what? And all thy labors, yeah, go, 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 go. shall a nation which thou knowest not 
eat up. Now let me ask you this. When the conquistadors get to sea and they came to uh, Mexico, Puerto Rico, things of that nature, did y'all know them as a people? No. Nobody did. Yeah, nobody did. Nobody, nobody, Remember, they're Americans from this country. Exactly. Yet. Nobody knew. No, did nobody know them. But look, God said that the same people that you didn't know will rule over you. Right. Would, would partake in the benefits of your resources. Right. If you didn't know anything about South America and the regions of that area, those are some of the richest places when it comes to natural resources. They work. They work. No, they still are, they but you just not benefiting from them. No, no, they work. You see what I'm saying? Out. Yeah, that's what they, out. hey, that's what they tell us. But the whole well, time they don't matter. It don't matter with corporate, when it comes to corporate America. Corporate uh -huh. America is what runs this country. Corporate America is what runs the world. That's We've right. always been slaves to the Europeans. You got to understand the Europeans came, took over the Native Americans, took over the Aztecs. So America is actually a slavery, or is a group of slaveries for the Europeans. The Europeans right. get fat, we eat, we have to work seven days a week to make bare minimal. Bare, bare minimum. Make bare minimal, where they can work three or four days out of the week and have six months of summer vacation. Hey, no, 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 no. Hold up, wait. Not only them, but they kids, right. they kids, kids. Exactly. They, they, they can Why pass do you think down generations of wealth, Omar. You go to Europe and they look at Americans as second class citizens. Where uh, here we look at Europeans as second class citizens. Like uh -huh. it's, we're backwards. It's all backwards. So now let me ask you this. Omar, all backwards. Do a quick in the spirit. The Lord got a question for you. All right. Give me, give me Psalm 94, 16. Because give right now up. what I'm trying to see is you understand that your people are oppressed as a people, yeah. and you also understand that you're an Israelite according to the Bible. We know that we Israelites according to the Bible, meaning now you know that we the same nation. So watch this. Read. Book of Psalms, chapter 94, and verse 16. It's a, it's a direct question from the Lord God to you, Omar. All right, read that. Who will rise up for me? You heard what God said? Who gonna rise up for him? Read. Against the evildoers. Against the who? The evildoers. Who are the evildoers? Because we just read about them. Huh? No, no. Who came to your land and took your resources? Europeans. Boom. Read it again. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Go ahead. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Of the workers of iniquity, the people that come with these different plots, these different schemes to keep your people at the bottom. The Lord just asked you, Omar, Omar, are you going to rise up for your people? Of course. Are you going to rise up for your people? So do you want to know some of the requirements that will take that action and put it into place? Uh, I got a good understanding of what it is. Let's make sure what it is. Just, cause make cause you're a smart brother. So maybe you do know, but let me just double check. Give me that just ten quick. What is it? We're gonna go in a minute. Go ahead. Okay, this is the last one. Let's just gotta go to the bathroom. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Remember, we just asked Omar, how are you gonna rise up for your little daughter? How are you gonna rise up for your people that's in the so-called land of Mexico? Let's see how, brother. Let's see how. It's very simple. Read. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to walk in all his ways, uh -huh. and to love him, uh -huh. and to serve the Lord thy God uh -huh. with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. How the so-called Mexico get out their situation? To keep the commandments of the Lord. How they gonna be rightful owners of the land that the Lord God gave them? To keep the commandments of the Lord. How's Omar and the rest of his people gonna remember that we the greatest people upon this planet? Oh, to keep the commandments of the Lord. Simple as that, Omar. Yep, that's it. Simple as that. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how we're men repented at heart, 
The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth